many of our instructors are questioned why in our professional rescuer course for the unconscious choking victim, we do five chest compressions to clear the obstruction and then do the two breaths. Whereas in the remainder of our courses, we do 30 chest compressions followed by two breaths. And it's really a balancing act in how we design our courses between educational needs, medical needs, and the science. Clearly, when you teach people a single technique, it's easier for them to learn and retain. So in the rest of our courses, the non-professional ones, we do 30 and 2 for across the board for both CPR and unconscious choking to help with retention, learning, and ease. At our professional rescuer course, we understand that these people have additional training, have continuing education in many cases, and thus they can understand multiple techniques and their applicability. As such, because it may not take up to 30 chest compressions to clear the obstruction, and we'd like to know sooner than later that it's cleared, we teach five and two. So in the professional course, it's five chest compressions for two breaths to allow clearance and assessment rapidly and as quickly as possible. And they have the ability to learn more than one technique. At the other course level, again, we're trying to keep simplicity in the courses to allow retention and ease of performance. And that's why it's 30 and 2, similar to chest compressions.